This is IKEA in Wembley. By day, regular couples come here to have a row before buying furniture that's too big for their cars. But by night, we put a hundred f***ing cats in here. So I was like, oh my god, Sebastian, let's do this thing with cats yeah. and Ikea. And it could be like an artistic metaphor yeah. for like Iraq. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. So yeah. we like had a Frappuccino and stole a hundred cats. Lol. I mean, the cats might do nothing. Or they might go like f***ing mental or something. I don't even know. It's a crazy idea right now, bro. But I'm so drunk. I could do anything. The biggest difficulty we're facing today is the fact there is a hundred cats. Hi, yes, so I'm basically training my cat to steal your camera equipment. I just want a cat in a raffle! It's a f***ing cat, mate. This is a dog dressed up. So in a minute, yeah, he'll probably just steal your what? Oh, hey! There he goes! There he goes, good lad! Like a furry Roger the Dodger! I've actually been holding this cat for 15 years and he still hasn't escaped. Now he's mastered the camera equipment, so I might get him into money laundering or robbing cars. I oh, f***ing love cats, me man! Give us a hay faith for that! In case you haven't got it, we're basically filming a hundred cats in Ikea. So here we are in Ikea and everyone's having a really great time and then this one cat becomes a real bastard and starts spying for the Russians. Like it's the 80s or something. So we had to hunt it down using using infrared cameras and a massive laser. Look, there it is on fire. And unleash your cat. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've squashed one. I'm so fired. To be honest, you're getting on my tits a bit because I've told you it's 100 cats. Dude, I'm basically came in here for light bulbs and fell asleep and now I can't get out. Oh my god, so basically, right, I've thrown a cat over that wall of chairs and I think I'm in trouble with that guy. I've got Tanya looking into it, she's like my BFF, but I'm just pricking it though in case I never get work experience again. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, shit. I am gonna eat this cat. Oh god, it's like a little furry chili and miner. <laughs> My love eggs are going like the clappers, miss. Cats, I need you to be cuter. Maybe even limp a little bit, fake a disability, that's great. Hold on, all these cats are white and I requested an ethnic mix. It's crazy, isn't it? They're cats. Okay, cats, I need a little bit more energy. Go mental, darlings. Whoa, whoa, too mental. Not the work surfaces, that is disgusting. Come on, Jenny, get the cat down for Christ's sake. My arms aren't long enough, Paul. I'm so drunk I can't even feel my face, so these cats might not even be real. You can buy anything with the cats in here. It's a whole range for them. You got like jumping cat chairs, baskets of cats, cup of tea cat, an abandoned confused cat. It's great. Keith was doing really well, but I've just seen him was out of a drive-by, so we're gonna have to have words, you know. I'm thinking of swapping him for a badger. At the end of the day, the store was returned to normal, so the hairy furniture could be sold to suckers like you. Let's take a look at the day from the cat's perspective. You see men on the wire. I am cat on the wire. Microphone. Ah, what the f***? That really hurt. Glass floor. Tell the Kremlin I have the information from the cat. Oh shit, I was looking for bathrooms. I think it's around here. Oh, Nige, I'm sorry, it's mirrored cupboards. Fluffer. What is he doing? Oh no, I've made a right to, to myself. Look at me, I'm in the warehouse. Do you like my ass? So many lights. I'm agrophobic. Yes, yes. Look at me again and I'll cut you. <laughs>